Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I thought I would do another fragrance review, and that is going to be on Ted Lapidus's Black Soul. I am primarily doing this review because this is a cologne that I really enjoy, and really nobody's talking about it. Now for me, I am not the best nose out there, okay? I cannot detect everything and all things that are in a fragrance. But this is what I will do. I'm going to list what's in the fragrance here, okay? The top notes, the mid notes, and then the base notes. And you guys can kind of evaluate what this is gonna smell like to you. But what I'm going to do is try my best to describe what this smells like. So I actually wore this all day today. And for me, it smelt, and I'm just smelling from the nozzle just to get a reminder of how this smells. It smelt like you had taken honey, okay, and put it over a nice um, leather, soft leather bag, and put just a little bit of tobacco smoke and tobacco leaf on it with a little bit of floral notes in there and then a little bit of patchouli or grass notes okay it's got a little bit of funk in there from a grassy note somewhere but it just smells very very good and there's a hint to my nose of like cinnamon or some kind of spice that kind of dances around it and as it dries down it's mostly like a very nice honey vanilla leather scent now, when would I wear this? Primarily, I would actually be going for a black tie event. I mean, I'm not saying this black soul is really saying, hey, you're a depressing person or anything like that. But I think what it's saying, you are going to be this soul that's going to be very dark, mysterious, and very, very um, interesting. And for me, I think the bottle and the way that it's shaped with this interesting lid and the black and everything really just harkens towards wearing it at a black tie high event. I feel like this is a great evening fragrance. Very nice um, going out to a bar fragrance and maybe even going out for a nice romantic night out. Now for me personally I had to apply a lot of this and it's not because it was a bad performer. It's because this, um, this um, atomizer gives out a little bit of juice. It doesn't spray a lot. The mist is very very fine. It's a very, very fine mist. I'm not gonna spray it in here because if I spray it in here, I'm gonna smell it for days on this counter. But for me, it was a very, very fine mist and I had to spray a lot, um, but I didn't use a lot. It's just, it sprays very little. Now, personally, what did I get out of its performance? Performance wise, I actually thought it died off at six hours, okay? I thought it died off, but this was the reason why I thought it died off. I was a little hesitant on the trigger, and I reapplied it around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, but this is the thing. I got to work at 3.30 in the morning, okay? So by 9 o'clock a.m., I thought this had died off, but I was getting whiffs of it from around 11. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine and a half hour scent, okay? But even then when I got home around one o'clock, I could still get hints of it in the air under my shirt, okay? So take it as you will. It's a pretty good performer, but this is not loud, okay? This is a fragrance that you wear and you want people to notice when they get close to you. It's not something that you're going to wear clubbing, okay? This is primarily going to be a gentleman's fragrance, a gentleman's scent, and it is definitely going to be something that you wear when you don't want to seem too loud, but you want people to at least notice what you're wearing. Now, this is some of the information on the bottom of the bottle, and what's very interesting is the percentage level. It says 75% volume. So I believe that 75% volume is of the alcohol. So if that math is right, this is a pretty concentrated amount of um, cologne in here. Now it's an eau de toilette, but it really acted like a parf uh, eau de parfum for me. 
For me personally, it stayed kind of close to the skin. Didn't really resonate a lot. The sillage was not very big. I noticed the bubble around me for the whole day, but it just was not a fragrance that was like, wow, slapping me in the face. Um, if you really want a fragrance that's going to be slapping you in the face all day, you wear the Lapidus Pour Homme. Or you can even go with something like, let me see, you could even go with something like this, Joop, okay? You could go with that. But this here, I think, is a completely different fragrance. It is something that you want to wear at a nice event, a nice dinner, and something that's not going to be um, like, hey, I need to be noticed. It's something where you are going to say to yourself, I want people to just realize I'm wearing something comforting and nice and I would even say it's a good cuddling scent okay movie night maybe a nice night at the house it's a good fragrance for that I would probably even just do two sprays at that point so I thought you guys would enjoy this fragrance review I'm trying to get a few of those out on fragrances that I'm not seeing out on YouTube and this is definitely one of them everybody's doing the black soul imperial and for me I thought having the black soul out there on youtube would get a few people to know at least what this kind of smells like so till the next one you guys i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye